What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to migrate all of your Minecraft profiles, i.e. versions, Optifine, Forge, Fabric, etc, etc, from the old Minecraft launcher to the brand new one on the Microsoft Store. Great news for you, you don't need to re-add everything from scratch. So if I go ahead and fire up the new Minecraft launcher through the Windows Store, you'll see that I have absolutely no versions here, which is pretty garbage to be honest, especially if you're someone with a ton of different versions, different launch options, different RAM, etc, etc. You would have to do all of this all over again if it wasn't for this video. This is the first of its kind. As you can see, I have no versions here in this version of Minecraft, latest and snapshot. So all we have to do is hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then a new folder will open up. Open .minecraft in here, and we're now inside of the Minecraft home directory. If for some reason this window didn't open, or you don't see any folders in that folder, head across to view in any file explorer and make sure hidden items is checked. Once you've done so, navigate to see users, your username, app data, roaming, and .minecraft. Anyways, when you're in here, scroll down and you'll see launcher accounts and launcher accounts Microsoft Store. These are the two different versions, the old vanilla launcher and the new Microsoft Store vanilla launcher. Now opening these up, you'll find a bunch of information as well as logged in accounts. I of course can't show you too much of this file as it contains my login tokens. What you can do for this, because these two are very similar, is if you don't want to log into all of your accounts again, simply make sure to make a backup of the Microsoft Store one here. In my case, I'll just slowly double click on it to rename it, copy the name of the file and add a one to the end of it. Then I'll rename the vanilla one over here to launcher accounts Microsoft Store. You may also want to keep a copy of this just as launcher accounts. This way, when we fire up the brand new launcher, we'll have all of our accounts from the vanilla Minecraft in here. Now, something you'll also want to do is have a look for launcher profiles. This is where the interesting things are stored. And as you can see, the Microsoft Store is two kilobytes. The previous one is 14. All we need to do here, once again, is make a backup of the existing launcher profiles, then take the name of the new Microsoft Store one, add a one to the very end of it, so launcher profiles Microsoft Store one.json, and we'll rename launcher profiles to launcher profiles Microsoft Store as such. Now we've successfully migrated not only all of our accounts and logins from the previous install of the Minecraft launcher, but we've also migrated all the profiles here as well. You also notice that a bunch of these other files here have Microsoft Store variants, such as entitlements, gamer picks, UI state, etc, etc. You may want to go through these one by one and simply copy them across, etc, etc. But for me, I'll just be leaving it at just accounts and profiles. Now, of course, there are other files in here like MSA credentials, things like that. You may be asked to re-log into a Microsoft account if you do choose this method, but I'm pretty sure it'll copy across all of your Mojang accounts that you have in your Minecraft launcher. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire up the brand new Minecraft launcher once again from the Windows App Store. This time you should see things may take a bit longer to load, but eventually will be dropped into the Minecraft screen as we were before. So clicking the very top left, I have both of my accounts back in here and expanding the versions list here, you can see Fabric, Forge, Optifine, Latest Snapshot and Latest Release. And of course, if I had any settings set up on these, such as three dots edit down here, these should all still be here as well. All of these JVM arguments, such as giving it say eight gigs of RAM instead of two. Everything should be exactly as you left it and you should be able to fire up any copy of Minecraft, any version, the same way that you did before, even though now we're on the Microsoft Store. Once again, because we copied across the profiles from the previous login to this current login, you may be asked to re-log into your Microsoft account. I highly doubt your Mojang account, but if you are, don't be afraid to do so. Once you've done so, you should have access to everything once again. And of course, because it hasn't moved across any of the worlds or anything like that, all of your worlds from the previous Launcher of Minecraft should still be here. So that's basically it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.